Once it rains, it rains for I don't know how long. When it rained on you, you'd just stay working and the sun would come out and dry you off and your shirt would be wet from the sweat and everything and so you were wet again. But one thing, at night one time we were working on a crosswind runway and had these big lights, you know, to light up so you know what you're doing. And Charlie loved that because he can get in there with satchel chargers and it outlines the airplanes. We were helping him. We didn't know, so we're working one night. A Marine full lieutenant, yeah, full lieutenant, he came running up there. Hey, get them lights out. What are you doing here? Get them lights out. And boy, he was mad. And I said, sir, I said, this is a top priority job in all of Vietnam we're working on. He said, there's a heck of a fight right over the hill. I said, I don't see bees. But anyway, Hold up this little hill and I looked I thought I was in the movies. You know, a heck of a firefight. I didn't, you know, we know we didn't know it. We got the lights out quick. That was too long in Vietnam. But the best the best I ever had, well, what 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 made me want to trip over was when I was six and I was out with special forces and the captain out there, Captain Wayne speaks. Boy, he bothers me the worst because he got killed. Boy, he was great. He was a gentleman. Mm -hmm. He was a great man, a full captain. But they had, they had him and they had Lieutenant Dip, which was a Vietnam, which was a Vietnamese. And them two was what ran camp oh, wow. outside. Wow. And you know, CIDG, which is civilian and regular defense group, and mm -hmm. Americans. I don't know. I don't remember. I lost so much memory on Vietnam, but I guess maybe. Twelve Americans there, you know, Doc, right? Doc Wilburn, and he was relation to Wilbur brother, Wilburn oh, brothers, okay. country and westerns, and uh, Captain Wayne Speaks got killed, and well, I liked him. He was from Alabama, but okay. I don't know where. And uh, his name's on the wall. And then in six, there was a cousin old, and his name's on that plaque out there, placard out there of Viet of uh, CBs that get killed, and he used to like to go up and the Hueys, gunships, yeah. and be a side gunner, and he got killed. And I often, I often wonder if he, if the, if the Navy got in trouble. I mean, if the Army got the Navy in trouble for allowing him to go up, and I don't know. Well, then I came back, I was a short time, and I could have shipped over, and I got out of the Navy. And boy, I could kick myself, you know. I, I love the Navy, and I love the CB. Some thought of things I don't like about the CBs now. You know, they wear them camouflage green. Where we but we were, wore the same uniform, work uniform as the Marine Corps. We wore greens, and I think they called them, uh, I don't know, what they called them utility. But we wore the Marine cover, right? You know, with the Marine emblem on. But then we'd put a hat pin in the front, a CB pin in the front. Oh, okay. and I loved that uniform. Boy, yeah. you keep that hat scratched. I mean, starch good and you know, just like the Marines.